Richard Schneeman coming at you from Austin, Texas. We're going to be talking about active record limit. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have a product table in our database. We can say product.limit33. And when we do that, we're telling our database that, hey, we don't care how many products you have. We only want 33 back. So if we count those, guess what? We get 33. Seems pretty reasonable. Now, if we take a look at the SQL, we are going to be saying select products at star from products limit 33. So even the SQL reads kind of like the Ruby code and, and vice versa. So hopefully that's relatively straightforward to you. Uh, we do some kind of cool things too with uh, with Rails. If we say product dot first or you know way or something dot first, it's going to know that hey, as a matter of fact, we are limiting by one. We only want the first element, so you, we're only we're automatically going to apply that limit to our database query. And this is going to speed things up a little bit, make our our database query more efficient, and it's not going to waste memory. It's not going to waste time. So that's a good thing. In addition to this, we could also maybe call last, and that's also going to limit by one. Also, first happens to take some arguments. So if you want, you can pass in a number of elements you want. So this is saying we want the first thirty three products. So um, this is going to give us uh, a limit of thirty three. So that's uh, a couple of different ways that we can add some limits to our database queries. Stick around and we're getting ready to talk about offset.